Hey everybody, um, this is Jerry Fort. I'm going to try to grant one of my uh, requests. Um, Scott Luckoff. So you kind of like to see the progress of the house. Um, let's show a little bit here. Um, this is a, this is, you're going to see the progress, but you're also going to see kind of the, the mess too, because we're having to, you know, while we're working here, we have to find spots, you know, to put stuff. So this is kind of the, this is going to be Jeremy's room. Um, I've uh, done a lot in here. Uh, there was a lot of cracks in the corners. Um, well, we tore out all the ceiling, there were ceiling tiles up there. Um, so now we sheetrocked it. Yeah, see, I'm not a sheetrock guy, so you're going to see flaws like that, kind of in the, but I did texture it. And it looks a lot better. It's kind of hard to see with the lighting, but um, new fan. The fan that was in here was nasty and probably from the early 80s. Um, cleaned up the door. Actually, my wife and uh, Jeremy cleaned up the door. I can't move the can't move can't open up the closet, but because uh, it's got stuff piled in front of it. Mud. You know, I got lumber in here. Um, just things we're using, some bottle jacks, insulation. So, uh, yeah, this is kind of a little tool shelf, all power equipment on it, stuff like that. Um, new switch covers. Uh, yeah, there was damage. You know, the walls had lots of damage. There's been settling over the years. Uh, it just looked really, really bad in here. These shelves were nasty. They were painted blue, but they were just worn away. Corner shelves right here for old Jeremy. Um, half the crown was gone. I used some, uh, some, uh, uh, let's see, I think they're one by, one by twos or something like that for all the crown sealing off all the, you know, where the wall meets the ceiling. So, uh, there's Jeremy's room. No, we're going to put carpet in here. It's just, just an old nasty tile floor right now. All right. So let's go into the master bedroom. Um, it's got a table in here right now because um, we haven't moved it in, into the kitchen yet. This, so it's just, this is kind of where I do some of my reviews with Jeremy and, and stuff. Let me turn this light on. <clears throat> so... Yeah, this, this room was the same. This room was a storage room for my brother-in-law when he lived here. And uh, it was it was a mess. It, it had stacks of, you know, books and all kinds of stuff in here. Uh, boy, the lighting is just terrible in here. Let's see if I can get... That kind of helps a little bit. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have any like before shots. I wish I did. Um, might be able to come up with one of those sometime. My wife actually did some recording um, on my tablet. If you can figure out how to get that off there, we can, we can do that. We've got tile. We're going to put carpet in here also. Um, so here's the, big, here's the big kicker. This is a walk-in closet. The closet that we have at our house is, is very, very, very small. And uh, my wife is very thrilled about this. <clears throat> Got a huge, huge area for some clothes here. And then a huge area for some clothes on this side. Big old top shelf up there. She's already buying things, you know, for, for uh, the new living room. Some shelves back here. We've got lots of storage space. She's very thrilled about that. But uh, th and same, same with this. It had ceiling tiles in here too. So almost everywhere in this place had ceiling tiles. And I tore them all out, put she rocked up. Helped seal it up a lot better. So happy about that. Here's the hallway. Let me get some light on in here. Here's the big old hallway and washer and dryer 
in the house and the reason why I say that is because at the house we're at now for over 30 years or more you know probably ever since the it's been there the house has been there the washer and dryer has been in the shed um, so my wife when she does laundry she has to go outside in the shed to do it now we've got a washer and dryer in the house so she's thrilled about that put up the shelf for her she can put stuff up there to dry Ceiling tiles were in the hallway too. Tore those out, put sheetrock up. Um, put new lights. It's got a long old hallway. It goes down here. There's stacks of sheetrock up against the wall right now. But did a lot of painting in here. Shot a lot of texture. Um, just made it look 100% nicer. Back door's been painted. It was all scratched up. <clears throat> crown molding in here too just use the one by twos um, around there they just worked better same same trim just painted down there um, this tile is going to stay because it's decent it's dirty right now uh, so here is the water heater closet it's it's a mess right now. Here's here's the ceiling tiles right here that I was dealing with. I still got to tear out these ceiling tiles and put sheetrock up in here to kind of take care of this dust and mess. And yeah, they had mice really bad here. And haven't seen any since we've been in here working and sealing up cracks and holes everywhere. But uh, I got a lot of work to do just in this room alone. Uh, I say a lot. It's not that much, but... Um, just, this is just kind of a little tool room too. All right, let's move on into the kitchen. Okay. Kitchen is a big transformation. I did a lot of work in here. Although the ceiling didn't have ceiling tiles on it. Um, the mud, the mud job that he put on was really, really, really bad and rough. I did a lot of floating, floated out my mud and textured this ceiling in here. Put up the one by two crown molding. Um, this is new tile. It's got a little dirt on it right now, but this was really nice. I had to take care of a lot of nail pops in here and get the floor nice and level and even and smooth for the tile to go down. And it turned out really nice. Um, so there's that. My wife's very thrilled about having all this cabinet space in here. Um, the place we're at now, there's hardly any for her to put anything, so she's going to have lots of room. Here's where the table's going to go, right there. She's going to decorate it in roosters. She's big into roosters. This is the storage room. It's full of crap right now, but as soon as we get things done more, we're going to move this stuff out of here. We're going to buy, you know, extra stuff, paper towel, toilet paper, this, that, and other. Um, got lots of shelf space uh, in here. And we're going to have what I'm really thrilled about is an extra refrigerator. This is the one that was in the kitchen, and we're going to plan on getting a new one. But uh, this is, yeah, it's got a lot of my review stuff in there. And just stuff to drink, you know. Wife gets upset that I take up all the refrigerator space because, you know, putting stuff in it that I'm reviewing. She don't have no room to put anything in there. So now I'm going to have kind of my own refrigerator. <laughs> uh, shoot. All right. Now, now the bathroom. Bathroom's not done yet. It's halfway done. Um, <clears throat> still got a redo the, the bathroom, the bath shower area. I'm going to put up some FRP um, boards, seal it off. Can't afford a, 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 a insert, but uh, the FRP will be good, good enough for now. Um, make it look clean and nice again. Um, I don't know. This ain't done in here yet. This is this is the book and video room. It's a it's a mess. It's everything's a mess when you're working in an area. 
you just have a complete mess. But look at this. Isn't that cool? That's my little shelves I put up for beers that are kind of hard for me to hard to find. Um, anyway, and just gimmick beers, you know, stuff like that. Good ass beer. But uh, yeah, and in here you've got. And it's past 10 minutes, but I'll go ahead and show you this. This is where we're at right now. Give you a good before shot. This uh, this had water damage all along here. We had to tear out all this wall. We had to tear out the uh, um, the uh, plate down there. Repair a lot of, replace a lot of boards. Um, the support were eaten up by termites. It's uh, it's a it was a mess, and. We're redoing all the sheetrock in here. All the sheetrock's gone. It was old and it was cracked and wet and worn and aged. It just looked really bad. So had to put in a new window. The window that was in there was ate up too. So there's the brand new window. If you can see it, um, $156. Just like these, Just like these old windows right here. Kinda. Can you see it? Lighting. All right. I better end this. Um, but there you go. There you go, Scott, and everybody that might be interested in seeing this. Um, ceiling. I still got some little repairs to do, like that. Somebody gooped up some mud and did that. And did that. So. But otherwise, this this uh, ceiling's good. Got to put in a new ceiling fan and light. All right, well, I'm going to end it there, and uh, thank you all for watching. Appreciate it. And, uh, oh, yeah, we're going to put new tile in here, too. Okay. See you all later. Bye.